Astronomers have spotted a rare, nearly perfect circle in the Milky Way, a supernova remnant named Teleos, meaning perfect in Greek. Found using Australia's ASCAP telescope, it defies expectations with its flawless shape, unlike the usual chaotic debris from stellar explosions. Even stranger, it's only visible in radio waves with no trace in other wavelengths. What could cause such cosmic symmetry after such a violent event? Keep watching this video to find out. Teleos was first noticed in May 2023 by astronomer Miroslav Filipovich of Western Sydney University. While reviewing data from the EMU survey, a wide field project mapping radio emissions across the southern sky, he encountered a nearly flawless circular structure. It was immediately flagged for further study and officially catalogued as SNR G305.4 to 2.2. Initial analysis showed that the remnant's diameter falls between 45 and 150 light years, depending on its exact distance from Earth. Estimates range from about 2,200 to 7,700 parsecs, roughly 7,000 to 25,000 light years. Despite that uncertainty, one fact stood out its geometry. Most known supernova remnants have irregular boundaries. Their shock waves slam into galactic material, clouds of dust, magnetic fields, or remnants of earlier explosions, and get reshaped over time. But Teleos's edges remain remarkably consistent, with no clear signs of interference or warping. Its spherical structure is so precise that some astronomers have compared it to a teaching model, an idealized version of how a remnant should look in a vacuum. It's rare to find theory mirrored so closely in observational data. Another striking feature is its extremely low surface brightness. It is detectable only in the radio band. It shows no emission in X-ray, infrared, or visible light. This radio-only profile is part of why it was overlooked until ASCAP's sensitive instrumentation scanned that region of the sky. Given that no known supernova was recorded in the region, and the object does not appear in previous surveys, researchers believe this is its first confirmed detection. Its faintness and lack of spectral complexity make it a challenge to classify and age, but also a valuable anomaly, the kind of outlier that often leads to new insights. Teleos may owe its perfect shape to its quiet neighborhood. It lies just below the crowded galactic plane, in a calm, low-density pocket of space. No chaos, no clutter, just the perfect place for symmetry to survive. That isolation likely played a role in preserving its shape. Without nearby clouds or debris to distort the shock wave, the remnant could expand more evenly, creating the smooth shell astronomers see today. But this still leaves open the question of what caused the explosion and why it produced such weak emissions. One hypothesis is that Teleos resulted from a Type 1 AIC supernova, a subclass of the better-known Type 1a. These explosions involve a white dwarf in a binary system gradually pulling material from a companion star. In a Type 1 AX event, the white dwarf doesn't fully disintegrate. Instead, it partially explodes and leaves behind a surviving core, sometimes referred to as a zombie star. Such a scenario could explain the remnant's radio-only emission and faintness. Type 1 AX remnants are thought to be more common than we can currently detect, largely because they are intrinsically dim and easy to miss. It may offer one of the clearest observational cases to date, if further evidence supports that classification. One theory is that it came from a runaway star that exploded alone, far from its birth cluster. Another suggests a previous supernova cleared the area leaving a clean environment for this one. But both ideas raise questions. If it's young, why so faint? If it's old, how is it still so perfectly shaped? And with no signal beyond radio waves, finding a central remnant remains a mystery. The discovery of Teleos has broader implications for our understanding of supernova remnants and how many might be hidden in plain sight. For one, 
it suggests that the environment matters more than previously assumed. The expansion of its remnant is shaped not just by the energy of the explosion, but by what's in the surrounding space. In a clean, low-density environment, even a moderate explosion might create a symmetric shell that lasts for thousands of years. This shifts how astronomers think about the diversity of remnants. Most known examples come from crowded galactic environments. But if more objects like these are hiding in the halo or low-density regions off the galactic plane, they might only be visible with sensitive radio surveys, and only if we're lucky enough to look in the right place. The discovery also opens new investigative paths. Researchers are watching the southeastern edge of Teleos, where a slight enhancement in radio emission might signal the early stages of interaction with nearby interstellar material. If confirmed, this could help estimate its expansion velocity and narrow down its age. Another major question is whether a central compact object exists. If astronomers can identify a faint white dwarf or neutron star at the center, it would provide strong evidence for a specific type of supernova origin, possibly confirming the IAX hypothesis. Uncovering Teleos's secrets will require deeper X-ray, optical, and focused radio studies, efforts already in progress. Its discovery shows the power of wide-field radio telescopes like ASCAP, and with the upcoming SKA, we may find that it isn't alone, but the first of many hidden, symmetric remnants. Talias proves that not all stellar deaths end in chaos. It's quiet. Perfect symmetry challenges what we thought we knew about supernova remnants. Could it be a rare explosion type? A lone star's final breath? Or something else entirely? Sometimes it's the silence after the blast that reveals the most. Stay tuned. The universe still has secrets to share.